Howdy friends, today I'm gonna start building a new deck box for the Forerunner. Uh, but first, I gotta take this one and all the crap in there out, put it in the garage. While I'm doing that, why don't you go check out the video where I showed all about how this thing works and how I built it. Okay, back to work.
All right, so it's done. This thing is totally finished. I got all of my tie downs installed. I've got the tie downs that install it to the cargo straps in the Forerunner. This thing works great. I really like the design. Um, we're out here testing it on a maiden voyage at this beautiful um, alpine lake off of Sonora Pass. It's a really pretty spot. Um, Sonora Pass is just a couple miles that way. We're probably about 9,500 feet, really high, it's super awesome. So this deck works really well. And the design I think works a little bit better than my previous design. It's a little bit higher. The gap here is a little bit um, taller. Um, most of all, the table doesn't rattle. The table is really nice. It's a lot bigger too. Let me show you how it slides out. It's really nice. I've got this plywood coated with um, some nice beeswax uh, butcher block conditioner. I can slide it out. It's the same width as the top of this thing, so I could slide it way out. But obviously, leverage, I wouldn't want to use it much farther out than this. But this is, works really well. It's really convenient. It's really nice. It slides out pretty easily, but it's tight enough that it doesn't rattle at all. Under here, I've got a few odds and ends. Over there, I've got a wrench for the Thule bike rack. Um, I keep some of the trailer supplies over there and the dog bowl. In here, I've got this bin, which I'll probably rebuild. I've got chairs, a poo pocket, uh, some bug spray and sunblock. And this stuff stays in here all the time, all year round, because you never know when you're gonna wanna pull your chairs out and, and relax for a little while. Over here right now, I've got, this is my camera case, all my camera gears in here. Um, but this is the standard size for a uh, rollerboard uh, suitcase, carry-on suitcase. So this fits in here with ample room. I've also got my tripod and over here strapped to the side with a quick fist I've got my shovel. Up on top, when we're doing these trips with everybody, we have the, the dog sits up here, there's plenty of room for the dog. I've got a wolf box here, food and gear goes here and I can strap it down so it doesn't slide over and hit the dog and the uh, cooler over there. So when you want to stop to eat, you pull out the table, you grab some sandwich bread, you grab some sandwich meat, and you make it right here. You grab a chair, you sit down, and then it all goes right back in, close the door, and you're on the road in no time. It's really convenient. It's a really good design. I like it a lot. If you like this, if you thought this was cool, you're going to build one of these. Um, there's a couple of measurements you want to take note. This will work with any SUV. Um, the measurements I used, obviously, are really only good for a third gen 4Runner. Um, so the measurements are first the opening here from side to side. It's nice to be able to just slide it in without having to kick it at a corner and an angle and, and muscle it in. For mine it's 48 inches, for yours it'll probably be different. Um, then you need to know the height of the wheel wells so you can get this end of the table above the wheel well without hitting it. Ours is about 10 inches I think. And then you need to know the width between the wheel wells so you can make this, the uprights on the side, exactly that width so that they just sort of push up against them and then you can use the, um, the cargo tie downs to pull it tight and that'll keep it a lot um, tighter and make it more of a snug fit so it won't slide around and rattle around and it'll also act as a support uh, when the load starts shifting. So yeah that's it if you want to build one of these go ahead and, and uh, let me know how it went if you have any comments or, or improvements on the design let me know those too because I'll always make another one. And if you like this video, go ahead and click the like button. And if you want to subscribe, go ahead and click subscribe. But I'm going to do more woodworking projects. Say bye-bye, bud. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.